Hey everybody, Sean Swift and Gearman.com here. And this is the Gear Dryer Freestanding 12 Gear Dryer. So ideally, this is typically used for ski and snowboard splitboard boots like we see right here. It has 12 tubes, hence the name 12, Freestanding 12. It's freestanding and you can move it wherever you want to. They have one more model that's wall mountable, so that's a really cool um, option as well. This one, pleasant to the wall as you can see right there, is portable. 30 pounds, so you don't want to carry it you know, very far away, but you can put it down in your garage, mudroom, living room, anywhere you want to. Um, and it accommodates six pairs of, of boots or any kind of combination thereof. So two boots and some gloves, three pair of boots, three pair of gloves, whatever you want to. So it pushes out 200 cubic feet per minute of air. And that's, that's a lot of air. That'll dry stuff out really efficiently. And you can do it two different ways. You can do it with ambient air, which we would do in this room right here, because it's currently about 65 degrees, or you can do it with heated. So the heated element will push up 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty significant. So we're looking at almost 100 degrees in this room if we were to do that. That's not too hot, um, as in it wouldn't mess with thermal molded liners and such, but it is a very nice option if you were in a cooler room, say a basement, a mud room, possibly even a garage. Like our garage is below us directly. It's somewhat uh, heated just because of the heat of other places around it, probably 40 degrees. So I would definitely put the heat on there, bump up to 75 degrees and dry these boots out. So this would be ideal, in my world, this is ideal for back-to-back uh, -back snowboarding days. So I would kick my boots off, put them on the tube, dry them out so I'm assured in the morning that not only um, they're dry, but there's no bacterial growth, no funky smells to it, other than being funky already, some stinky kind of guy, but it would be functional and um, in good shape to go. Also, a little trick I like to do is if I'm closer to uh, the trail, I want to do some split, split boarding or snowboarding, and this is, if this is at a location with, with power, I would heat the boots up for about half an hour beforehand so they're nice and toasty to put on before I go for the tour. Just a little secret trick right there. Happy feet on a tour is a big deal. So works great for gloves, mittens, hats, and outside of the ski and snowboard world, this is actually a really good tool as well. Any kind of gear that's wet from snow or from rain or from sweat, and that's the big key here. Wet gear is bad gear. That, that's all there is to it. You want your gear dry, so it's one, comfortable, but also reducing uh, bacteria, mold, stuff like that. So crucial to dry gear. So imagine you're a hunter, come back from hunting, boots are wet and everything, stick it on here, dry it out. You got kids, they're out playing in the snow, out playing in the rain. Heck, they're out, um, their, their shoes are wet from just feet sweat. Stick your sweaty shoes on here and dry them out, you know? Uh, keep them clean, keep them safe. Uh, so. For family use, that's ideal. Um, obviously you can fit, there's 12 tubes here, so you can fit a lot of stuff on here. Each tube is really cool and comes off, no problem. Each tube has a cap on it, so if you're not using that tube, you would cap it. If you're gonna use a tube, uncap it, obviously, so you can let that air come out. Otherwise, it'll just redirect the air to other tubes, which is what you wanna do. So, um, 120 volts, uh, pumps out 200 cubic feet per minute of air, like I said ambient or heated. Um, there's different settings, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, two hour, and a 24 hour setting if you push down the 15 minute button for three seconds. So I'll turn it on so you can see how loud it is. There you go. Not too loud at all, right? So obviously um, I would do this at 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever. Drive my gear out. Uh, won't overheat things. It'll turn off, which is a nice safety feature there. And um, what differentiates this from like a traditional um, commercial, not commercial, um, consumer grade product is it's not plastic, it's all metal. So that's commercial grade right there. This is something you could use in a professional setting. Say um, ski schools, firehouses, hockey teams, stuff of that nature. This is something that's meant to be used and used a lot. It's not gonna break, it's not plastic, it's just dry stuff out really really good um, so you know an ideal application is if you are fortunate enough to have a, a ski condo in a ski town or something like that and you rent that condo out say two-thirds of the year you have this in your garage or your mudroom 
people are going to notice this and appreciate the fact that you invested the time and the money on professional equipment because, after all, it's a ski house. People are going to have wet gear. Um, it's nice that you might have a plastic one or whatever. That's cool. It's a great start. But having something like this is just going to put you another notch above for the other other Airbnbs out there. So it's a pretty dang good investment if you have a rental property. So um, from like a semi-pro perspective, it's nice to have my gear dry <laughs> so I can go out and tour back-to-back -to -back days. Nothing worse than putting on cold, wet boots. It's demoralizing, it's unsafe, it's, it's not good. <laughs> so make sure your stuff is dry. Uh, so I'm very fortunate to have this guy right here to dry my stuff out. Um, MSRP for the freestanding 12 is $5.99. For $6.99 you get the wall mounted 12 version. So if you know you're going to have it in a static location, like you own your home and you, and you know where your gear room is going to be, you want to mount it there, totally awesome. Probably get the wall mounted one and save your floor space. Uh, this one's ideal because obviously you can unplug it and put it wherever you want. I could take it up to my friend's place in the mountains and keep it there for a few days, bring it back home. Very versatile, very quiet. Now uh, I'll push on the heating. There it is. Now I've got 35 degrees warmer air pumping through these two boots and these two gloves. You can already feel it. It feels nice. So there it is. That's the Gear Dryer Freestanding 12 MSRP 599. I'm Sean Sewell from Hopefully you found this review helpful. We'll have links below on our website with further picks and specs. And um, yeah, hope, it, hope this is helpful for you guys. Gear Dryer Freestanding 12.